Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Cam Small and today I will explain to you how you get the Astray and where to actually find that ship. The Astray is right now the best ship in the game, but it's also the toughest ship to get. So it's more like a prestige um, thing. So when you already have your S-Stock, which is a standard ship, uh, upgrade that ship because it is much, much easier to do. By the way, if you are interested to see like which is the easiest chip to get, what you should look out for for upgrades and so on and so forth, um, you will find another video from me down below in the video description and you can check that out instead. But if you want to get the prestige ship astray, you have a lot of questions and I have hopefully a lot of answers on how to get this ship because as I said this is not really a thing you are doing over a weekend or even in a week this would take you sometimes weeks if you are unlucky even months of preparation and then you can finally get the ship so where to start well of course you have to find where the astray is actually sold and what items you need for that and the easiest way to do that is you are sailing to Blackfang's den it is this island right here. Um, it's east of the Wave Strand port, which is right here, right? The pirate base is where you have to go. And then you are on the island and you have to go to the Estray shipbuilder. I know, duh. And this is the man which will give you the Estray. But he will not just give you the Estray, you have to do a lot for this dude. Uh, you can see right here, this is the Estray. And what you need is you need the construction blueprints, you need the operation manual, you need the certificate of pirate, and then you need some timber and some oncoming ship parts. So now, of course, the question is, where do I get all those things? Well, first, let's talk about the construction blueprint. And the construction blueprint is a daily you have to do. And you have for that, you have to go into the daily overview, which is right here in your Una's tasks, right? Those are the dailies. And then you find the quest, which, which is called She Drifts, See Gifts. This is the quest you have to do. You have to be, of course, level item level 415 to unlock that. So keep that in mind. And then you have to do co-op sailing quests uh, which are sometimes popping up on the sea. Uh, you can see them in your overview on your map alert. Like right now, my cam is in the way. So let me remove this very quickly. And you can see this here. Like you see those sailing co-op missions. You have to get the right one. This is the shitty part on the daily. The daily is exactly telling you which co-op missions you have to do. And if you are unlucky, that is not the co-op mission which is popping up. So it can actually happen that on that day, you didn't get any co-op missions. It really, really sucks. And this is why I say you have to start as early as possible because it can take quite a while till you get all those co-op missions together. By the way, if you are lucky, and you can do those co-op missions um, and you get the right ones. You have to do this Una's task 25 times. That's how long it will take till you then finally get the blueprints. 25 times. As I said, if you are unlucky, you are not getting um, the right co-op mission. And then it might actually take a little bit longer. I know, sucks, but that's how it is. And the next thing you need. And this is the certificate of pirate. Yeah, we will talk about the astray operation manual in just a minute. But the certificate of pirate is also in Una's task. And you can find it on this side, like the fourth or seventh side, and oh, page, not side, page words. And it is pest control. So what might happen with a pretty high chance when this is your first time you're doing this, this is grayed out and you cannot do this quest. What can you do to unlock it? Well, you have to go to Black Fang's den, this here, right? And then you have to go inside the house and you don't talk to Black Fang. Black Fang is not important right now. You have to talk to Ruri and Ruri will give you a quest. Finish that quest 
and that will unlock the UNAS task pest control. And it's, it's pretty simple what you have to do here. Every 10 or 15 minutes, um, there will be pirates spawning on Black Fang's den and you have to kill them. You see where the group is standing? This is where you have to kill the pirate. The pirate always spawns here. Everyone just hits it, kills it in just a few seconds. And then that's the daily. It's super simple. And you have to do that 15 times. And then you will be able to get the certificate of pirate. So now the next question is, hmm, where do I get the astray operation manual from? Do I have to do another daily for this? No, this time it's actually quite simple what you have to do. You just have to buy it. Wait, what? That sounds super simple. Yeah, it is over here and the Marina Rosa and she is offering you under special sales <gasps> the Pirate Star Astray. Well, there's not a manual mo. No, it's not the manual, but it is the quest item which starts the whole quest line you have to do to get the menu. So you just have to buy that and you have to do the quest and by the end of it, you get the menu. Now I say this, but as you can see here right now, this is not cheap. You need 300,000 pirate coins. Uh, where do I get so many pirate coins? Well, there are multiple ways how you can do this. Uh, one of them is just doing dailies, uh, doing some sailing events, especially, right? Or what you can also do is you can use the coins, those gainies coins and the other ones to exchange them into pirate coins. And then this is how you get the 300,000 together. It's still some work. Like it's it's still not easy to do. And as I said, you would not necessarily do that over the weekend, but it is a little bit easier to do than the other way around because, well, there are so many ways on how you can exchange the things you find from sailing and from the pirate missions to get the pirate coins. There are also some islands you can do. And yeah, it's just do the activities which gain you pirate coins and you're basically good to go there. Now... I just want to say this, even though it should be obvious at this point if you looked a little bit into how uh, ship crafting and stuff works, but let's talk about the oncoming ship parts. Wood, timber is pretty clear, right? You just have to go some uh, wood cutting and then you are getting the timber. But the oncoming ship parts, where do you get those? Well, you will find them in any big capital city and you have to go to the processor. Let me show you how the processor looks like. Um, we have to go into, let's say, Lutera Castle here, right? And the processor is this icon right there. That is the processor. Just look for this icon in any capital. And this is where you can get the so-called uncommon ship parts material. Um, this will cost you around... You need 15 of those parts because they are coming in a package and 15 packages will be enough for 375 and you need um, 75 total in strong iron ore. You need 75 total in sturdy timber, 200 total in heavy iron ore and 200 in total of tender timber and 500 gold. That is quite a bit. But then when you have that, um, I would even say this is the easiest thing to do. You just have to farm some materials and you can do that very quickly. It will actually take you not that long. This is what really takes you the longest. Like the dailies, because you can only do three UNAS tasks and two UNAS tasks are already are being used up for the certificate and the astray. And then you have only one UNAS task for yourself to upgrade your character. So you have to see how that goes. And again, you need 300 pirate coins to get the operation menu, and that would take quite a bit. But there's one last thing I want to mention. There is a bonus task you can do. This is how you get the astray. And when you have that, you have the astray. But with that said, you can also get Black Fang as a crew member. 
And you see that when you are going under report and you check out Black Fang and you can actually get her as a rank one a stray crew member. And she has Tailwind as a passive, which the amount of fast sailing recovered every time you sail a certain distance is plus five. So every time, again, you're traveling a certain distance, you are getting your fast recovery back faster, right? So she's actually really, really nice to have, and you might want to do the report thing with her. But keep in mind, she needs a lot of stats. I don't have this here with the character. This is why I can show you this. Um, but as you can see, you need um, Charisma 110 and Courage 110. And then the rest is um, Kindness and Wisdom. So she needs actually quite a bit of stats before she even talks to you. Also, she has um, a roster quest you have to do first. But you kind of really miss that. It's the purple exclamation mark over her head. You have to do that. And then you can start a report with her. And then you will try to get her as a crewmate. But yeah, this is how you get the astray. If you think, wow, that was, poof, that was, that was a lot. Um, I will link a picture down below in the video description where you can just click on and you will see like a handy overview on where to get the stuff, how often you have to do it, and so on and so forth. It's like a super great picture overview. And you will find the link right below in the video description. Click on that. And then it should become also very clear what you have to do. It helps quite a bit. But yeah, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video then I would appreciate if you leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more daily gaming news, tips and tricks for new games, especially a lot of Lost Ark. Let's be real here. The last few weeks has been mostly Lost Ark stuff and also some reaction videos. Then I would appreciate if you might leave a subscription. It would help me out a great deal. And if you ever want to catch me live, you can do so from Monday to Friday, starting at 9 a.m. East Coast time, which is 2 p.m. UK time and 3 p.m. Central European time over at trovo.com dot uh, live slash chaos mode. Wow, cannot even don't even know my own streaming platform. Apparently I'm streaming on. That's bad. Trovo.live slash chaos mode. And yeah, we are always talking about gaming news in the morning and then we are playing the newest games right now. A lot of Elden Ring. And of course, Lost Ark. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And I hope I see you next time. Have a good one.